Hello everybody and welcome to the second uh, episode in Solid Edge to make virtual engine. Uh, I will show you the final part that it is. I will close that. Let's start a new file. Here is a metric part and uh, start uh, with uh, this plan go to front and look to this with F3 start by the origin we have 36 here and 25 here then to switch in mark use the EK in your uh, keyboard Then uh, add a vertical axe, switch to to arc, arc again. Then go to smart dimension. From this to this point, we have one twenty five. The radius we have fourteen, and we have to add the relation between this and this one here we have 36 we have 25 here and between this point we have 3.5 Then we have um, here we have one hundred twenty two, here we have ninety, then ten plus uh, twelve, we have twenty two, I think. Mm-hmm. No, it's not 22, but 32. Okay. Then, uh, hmm, what, what, what? Uh, we have 50 here. Don't forget to add the relation between these. Tangency. Return with Control Z. Here we have fifty. And uh, have tangency between these and the same thing here then the last one is these then I will add the circle here with um, 50 circle here in the center of uh, the circle we have uh, 18 okay at the center line 
convert it to center line. Now we use trim to trim all of these. Now is uh, you have to select all of this. This one. Then go to mirror, select this. Then now you can select uh, this face and click and drag. Uh, click a straight symmetric and uh, put here 15. Then uh, go to project sketch select uh, click in the F3 here then project all of this go to circle start from this one and put here 60 go to line start from this point to this point now use trim to trim all of this here use the offset with the 5 click enter enter again and escape now select this face and uh, use uh, add mode to add uh, this and click and drag Deselect this one and put uh, 2.5 and go to line, click in the F3 here and see from the front. At the dimension, we have 55 here and um, from this point to the origin we have 45 I do that for uh, add the um, slot okay select this one and uh, go to option here make arc end and here put 10 millimeter then uh, put here 5 millimeter to do the same thing in this uh, area you have to select <coughs> this or and go to project sketch like in the F3 then select all of these Now you can select uh, this face and go to add mode and click and drag with 2.5. Here we can use mirror option and select uh, this plan and we have the same thing. Now you can just go to chamfer, use uh, two millimeter to add the chamfer. Click OK or Enter. Then uh, we have to add a plan here. Go to coincidence plan. select this one and use this uh, with 25 now you can go to point select this plan and uh, click into F3 and go to origin from the origin we have to put point here 
the same thing here and and just to add the dimension we have 30 here 30 here okay and yet now we can go to hole in option put control bore make m6 here click ok and use this point and this point don't forget to click all here okay then uh, click escape Go to here we can see the result then uh, go to project to sketch select this plan or is selected select all of these and click extrude select this one and this one here uh, you can uh, click through all and remove here click ok and we have the result and now I have to add the fillet with 5 millimeter here and here and here here we can put 3 millimeter then here we can put 5 then 4 here Uh, the last thing to, to add to this uh, connecting route is uh, is your name or your logo if you want uh, go to sketching text here I will put the same thing to the piston command line uh, v12 engine And here we can put three millimeter. We can uh, modify it up after. You can F um, three. Then use this one F3. Okay, can position it like this, then go to uh, go to home, extrude. Here you can select single, select this one and click enter in your keyboard. Here select remove with uh, the distance, uh, we'll put 0 point, 0 point 0.3 or 2. Or click in symmetric 0 0.2. Now we have the result. If you want to render it, uh, to render this, go to view like this and perspective 
make aluminum and flow reflection we can use high quality here click OK and we have the result uh, thank you for watching and if you like it you can uh, subscribe to my channel uh, if you want to add uh, some fillet here to have a nice look if you want to render it in a key shot you can add this and uh, you can see other tutorial in other software uh, to make to make a vitwave engine in uh, SOLIDWORKS for example Inventor and uh, NX9 and Katia V5 you can see all of this in my channel in the next tutorial we will make this uh, part of connecting a road and an assembly. Thank you for watching and see you next tutorial.